think as I think the club and the fans should learn to accept some things, some facts that we do not have players with a strong mentality. Uh, some of these players don't have what it takes to win in terms of concentration. When you're in a final, your midfield loses concentration in the second half. That's a problem. If you're a so-called player who is your savior, in quotes, most creative, I think we need to change the terminology about being creative. Eden Hazard is a creative player. He can score, he can create. If you can only, everybody, most most of those players can pass a ball. Now, if Ozil is going to spend all his time on pitch looking for a lucky pass, I think he needs to change he needs to change his his motives when you're on that pitch you're on that pitch to win so if the chance to shoot comes take the shot if it's a pass make sure it's the right pass you the player who is saying he will not take the shot because he wants to pass that's that's bullshit so we've been carrying a lot of bullshit players on our team Ozil is one of the biggest bullshit culprits that we're having now. We have paid the price. We have Shaka. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what he was doing when all these goals are going. Defensive midfield. If somebody explained to me what he did defensive. We're all trying to break and everybody's dropping the ball like I said. I don't know. Um, I should check the highlights. This is appalling. And then at the end, all the players are, are shaking Chelsea fan, Chelsea players' hands, hugging Giroud and everything. What the fuck is that shit? That's just bullshit, man. These, these guys don't have hearts. And I feel sorry for Emery because he's a really good coach, but his, these players are just constant failures. They're such a low grade that we can, he's done the best. The, to put them in a final, he has done the best. So let's just hope someone out, some club out there wants to buy them, otherwise we're done. Yeah, out for the season. Yeah, we'll see yeah, so we'll see where we'll, where we'll end up. Such a pity the boys didn't turn up for us today. It's uh feel really bad and uh, the team was just poor. It just showed that Chelsea were it more than Arsenal of which we should have wanted it more than them considering the fact that this means a lot to us um, for us to get back to the Champions League for us to actually get um, to get an European um, trophy which we have not got in the last 25 years and also too considering the fact that um, transfer budget of so far so we've to attract um, quality signings yeah um, it's I think we should just get rid of Ozil Ozil has to leave Arsenal football club place let Ozil leave he shows he didn't want he doesn't want to play for the badge I, I just saw Torreira which is his first season when he was on the bench he was crying this is a player that actually went in more definitely and I really don't really don't know what happened to Lacazette and um I put my young they didn't just turn up today, it wasn't just that day and those are the players we were looking up to for for them to actually like tear up Chelsea. But it wasn't just that day. We're back to Thursday night football. And according to um DT we have two transfer budgets, the European um, Champions League um, budget and the Europa League budget. So right now we're actually um stuck on the Europa League budget and hopefully um we get quality signings and players that could actually take us back to the next level. Dick's coming season not gonna be easy because we've Top four should be actually our main target, and of course we'll be going in with um, likes of the Wolves, Leicester, um, also Everton, and let's not forget Newcastle will be injecting a lot of funds. Um, but of course, um, let's hope um, Stan the boss will be able to inject a lot of money to the club and take it to the level it is. Come on, you going out? Let's um, let's support the team around next season, and you guys have a lovely summer. Bye. Hello, Gunners. We here again. Very, very, very devastated. Really, really devastated. Yesterday was one of the most devastating day of my life. Really, really devastating. I hear a lot of people asking questions that what were these guys doing? I know what they were doing. Many of them I know what they're doing, I think. Many of them were like, 
if we should qualify for the Champions League, their places on the threat. <sighs> call me whatever you want to call me. I think Emery is a fraud, man. That team is shit. Wankers. Bottle jobs. More false, man. <sighs> Damn, I don't know. I feel so, 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 so devastated. It's so disgusting, so appalling. Next season, I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's just sad. Rather sad. I'm out. Oh, I won't lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sad. I'm really, I'm really hurt. I'm really angry. At the performance and stuff, and and you know we play so well in the Europa League to go all the way to the final and not show up. That's that's the that's the thing that stings the most. And I must tell you, the the players. I'm, I'm not talking about the club. The players who play for this club need to refund everyone who paid for a ticket in Baku because that was a horrendous performance. They didn't show up at all. Erzul, you're not gonna hide from me this time around, man. Um, just so bad, yeah. See, I mean, at least try cover distances or bombing. Oh my word, man! It, it just was not really, it was not really great, you know. And the, the worst part is like the, the 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 club took a huge effort in trying to get all the the legends or the all the former players to send videos and wish this team of luck. The Pascal Sagans, the 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 So Campbells, all those players. Aaron Ramsey even sent one. Jack Walsh and everything, and then you perform like that. I'm even happy that we didn't even win that final because you can't come to a final and perform like that and expect to win. You know, they didn't show up and I'm really glad we are a Europa League club and that's the unfortunate part and there's a lot of dead wood that now we realize that we need to get rid of now. You know, it was a big game and we stuffed it up. This has been our roller coaster season for Arsenal. Oh. I don't even know where to start about the Europa Finals. Everyone was high in confidence. And we knew for a fact we could have won that game. And I just want to say, it's been very disappointing, but people, and to all the faithful Arsenal fans out there, it was a good run. We can take our time and heal from this, put it behind us and come better again next season. To be honest, we have to act, we have to come to the point where we just accept things. Okay, because Arsenal reaching the finals itself was a miracle. Look at the players. Do you really think Granny Xhaka can play better than what he is he's doing right now? That is his best. When when um Claude says it, they all have to go. We think he's just been a lonely, a lonely old man. No, he's not. Granny Shaka is just not good enough. Ozil, what is the use? Really, what? I don't know what is. I, I cannot begin to phantom what is the use of Ozil. Midlanders, it's either you're consistent or you're not. Loan him out with the option to, to, uh, to buy. It, it will be yes you you you, you played well to, tonight but you're not consistent look at our options we had on the bench we lock are you freaking kidding me really in Ketia and we want a Champions League sport with those kind of players to to do what Ona you rested players towards the end of the Premier League campaign only to come and give us this, this kind of embarrassing performance well, you've done, you've, you've done the best you could with what you were giving. But even a Europa League expert like you cannot save Arsenal. Ah, so, so, what next? Is that time of the year where Arsenal will be linked with everybody with one million and one people and end up buying a, a nobody we don't even know? Just to hear that Jaco was the person that motivated our team to go and applaud the fans at the end of the game. It's just the most disheartening thing I've ever heard. It's more disheartening than the result today because that's a player that I don't even believe understands 
what it means to play for Arsenal. I don't believe he's good enough for Arsenal. And that he was the one player to recognize what needed to be done at the end of the game to applaud the literally heroic efforts by fans to make it over to Baku. It's, it's worse than results today. It just makes me question so much about this team, about what they really, just everything. It just makes me question everything about this team and whether I'm ever going to be able to enjoy Arsenal at the level they deserve to be or that I, I wish they would be at. And it's just the most, it's more, dis, as I said, it's more disheartening than the result today because every single player on that pitch should have walked over immediately, immediately after the game. And it's, it's just terrible to hear. It's just terrible to hear.